Okay, I'm going to demonstrate two things here tonight. Um, one of them being occlusion training with some voodoo floss bands. Um, I'm going to wrap these around my leg and they're going to act as a tourniquet. Um, they're going to cut off blood venous return from my leg to my torso. Why would I want to do that? Um, well, I already did squats today, like max effort squats. So I'm not going to use any weight for the squat challenge, but to get, mostly because my low back is really fatigued, my legs are also fatigued, but to still get a pretty good stimulus, I can use these. Um, katsu training, occlusion training, blood flow restriction training. Look it up. I wrote a little bit of it. A little bit about it. Nope. On uh, ancientgains.com in the uh, fitness section of the blog. Here, use this one, buddy. Um, so I'm gonna try these out today. You want to use that one? Um, also, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a heart rate recovery using a chest strap. So, heart rate recovery is a good way to track your cardiovascular health. Um, and you can track it over time. So you can start now at the beginning of the squat challenge and then track it at the end of the squat challenge and see how your cardiovascular health has improved. Heart rate recovery is basically um, how fast your heart recovers, drops down after exercise in one minute. So I'm gonna do the squats. My heart rate's gonna elevate to pretty high. And then when I stop when I finish with 100 squats, I'm gonna track my heart rate recovery and I'm gonna see how many beats per minute it drops down. Oh, um, and, then, uh, and then I can compare that to what happens so with heart rate recovery at the end of the 30 one. days. So I'm only on day five right now. So I can see a difference between day, day five and day 30 if my cardiovascular health improved so from one. these uh, daily squats. First, I'm gonna show you how to wrap your leg using this uh, voodoo floss band which you can buy on Amazon to do these blood flow restriction squats. I'm not going to do them that tight because I think this might kill me. So you just wrap them uh, at the, the, the proximal end of the leg so very close to the, the hip crease. Um, you, mommy. and how tight you go depends on what you can stand and how many reps you're going to do. Since I'm doing so many reps, 100, normally I would only do like maybe 30, I'm going to go a little less tension on these uh, tonight. And I've never done this before, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. But these are really good for using very light weight. Um, they're good for injured athletes. They're good for elderly people. A lot of studies done on these too. So check it out. Pretty cool stuff. NFL football players. Uh, they did a study on football players, and these guys gained a lot of strength and size uh, by doing katsu or blood flow restriction training. So let's see how they go. I ended up doing 200 of these because I forgot to pair my heart rate strap to my phone like an idiot. Anyways, I really like these. These are a cool variation. They add a, a pretty good pump and a pretty good stimulus to the legs without having to add any weight. So that's nice for somebody like myself who's doing strength training, maybe in the weight room under a barbell. Um, so I didn't really want to add any extra weight to these body weight squats, but I still wanted to get a pretty good pump. So these worked really well. So uh, I like this variation. Um, this is uh, something that I'll probably be adding in, and I, I recommend other people add this in too. It's really good, really safe, a lot of studies. I'll link to some of the studies in the description below. The heart rate recovery app I'm using is called Sweet Beat HRV. These are some screenshots of just what it looks like on the phone when I'm using this app to track some of this data. Um, my score was excellent 
Um, I recovered 34 beats in one minute, which is uh, pretty good apparently. I'll, maybe I'll shoot for superb uh, towards the end of the study. It also tracks HRV, stress, heart rate. Um, it tracks nervous system uh, frequencies, so low frequency and high frequency power. So that's your sympathetic and your parasympathetic nervous system right there. Really cool app. It gives you a scorecard at the end. I just think it's a really good metric to track uh, at the beginning and at the end of this squat challenge to see if you're actually improving, if your cardiovascular health and recovery is getting any better. So try it out. Let me know.